I never thought I'd be into a laptop with two screens. But the Asus ZenBook Duo makes it really hard to go back to your standard single screen setup. Stick around as I dive into everything that absolutely blew me away. And of course, I'll share a couple of things that left me wanting more. But before we get into it, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on all our latest reviews. So, the first thing that instantly grabs your attention is obviously the 14-inch OLED dual touchscreens. Each sporting a full HD plus resolution and a 60Hz refresh rate. I mean, they just look really nice. The colors are vibrant and the blacks are super inky. Even without the snappier 120Hz refresh rate, the visual experience never feels compromised and simple actions like moving windows or tabs from one display to the other are super smooth. As good as these dual screens are, they won't be nearly as effective without one key feature, a detachable keyboard. It just comes right off the lower display and is fully Bluetooth enabled, so I can sit back comfortably and use it without any issues. It attaches via these pogo pins and because it's magnetic, it doesn't slide around. Trust me, I tried to knock it loose. The keyboard is also powered directly from the laptop, so I don't have to stress about it dying on me in the middle of a task. On top of that, this keyboard just feels fantastic. It's got 1.3mm of key travel, which means typing is smooth and satisfying. The keys are also backlit, so working in low light isn't an issue. And let's not forget the trackpad. It's full size with a PVD coating that makes navigation a breeze. It's like they've taken everything good about the previous ZenBook keyboards and made it even better. But where the ZenBook 2 really shines is in its versatility. I can use it in several different modes depending on what I'm doing. There's the classic dual screen laptop mode where I can have multiple windows open across both displays to maximize productivity. This mode is also perfect for using the virtual keyboard which I can bring up by touching six fingers on the lower display. It even comes with a full virtual trackpad. Now naturally, it doesn't work quite as smoothly as the physical keyboard. I notice some lag and occasional input issues, but it's still a handy backup option. I can also bring up a half virtual keyboard by pressing a button along with enabling dedicated media control keys, emojis and GIFs, which I think is a brilliant execution. Then there's the sharing mode, which leverages the 180 degree hinge. So I can lay the screen flat on my table and share content with someone sitting across from me. It's a much better way to engage with others rather than having them crowd around the main display. But my favorite has to be the desktop mode. The integrated kickstand props it up at the perfect angle, making it so much more comfortable to use for extended periods. So I can watch YouTube on the top display while working on the lower screen. I can take a work video call up top and jot down notes below. I even did some video editing with the preview windows on the upper screen and the timeline on the lower. The use cases are endless. And if that wasn't enough, I can switch things up further by rotating the whole setup into portrait mode, which is perfect for writing or coding. For a laptop sporting two displays, especially one tailored for productivity, having the right software to manage those displays is crucial. That's where Asus Screen Expert software comes into play. It's like the command center for screen management, allowing me to tweak settings effortlessly. I can dial in the brightness on each screen individually or together and turn off the second screen when I want to conserve battery. I can even organize and save my open apps into task groups which makes jumping back into my workflow seamless. So this way, I manage both screens so effectively that it feels like one cohesive unit. And this unity is crucial for a setup like this. Now let's talk about portability, because at the end of the day, you want a laptop that's easy to carry around. Despite having two screens and all that tech packed inside, the ZenBook Duo is surprisingly lightweight. With the keyboard attached, it's 1.65 kg and without it, it's just 1.35 kg. I can easily slip it into my backpack and take it wherever I go, whether I'm off to a coffee shop or just moving from one room to another at home. Plus. It's not just functional, it's stylish too. Especially with the signature geometric lines on the brushed aluminum lid that make it look as good as it performs. Speaking of performance, this laptop doesn't mess around. 
I've been using the highest spec model available, equipped with an Intel Core Ultra 9 processor, a whopping 32 GB of RAM, and a massive 2 TB SSD. That's a ton of muscle, enough to handle just about anything I throw at it, from video editing and juggling multiple apps to working with demanding software. Now, it's got integrated graphics, so it's not your top pick for hardcore gaming, but it can still handle some demanding games at decent frame rates. So look, there's a lot to love about this laptop, but the dual screen design does come with its own set of challenges. First off, it tends to heat up quickly under heavy use and given the dual screen design, cooling is understandably a challenge. The laptop employs two fans, one tucked between the displays and the other on the bottom panel with exhaust vents on the sides. But it's not quite good enough to keep things cool during intense sessions. The audio performance is another area where it falls short. The speakers deliver typical laptop sound, adequate volume but lacking depth and clarity. Push the volume above 60% and the sound becomes a bit shrill. Battery life is also impacted by the dual displays. Using both screens, I managed about 5-6 to six hours of runtime, which isn't bad for a dual screen setup. However, if you're pushing the device with heavy multitasking, expect no more than 3 hours. On days when I use it as a traditional single screen laptop, I can almost get through an 8 hour workday without reaching for the 65 watt charger. Finally, the port selection could be better. It's not as minimal as a MacBook Air, but with just two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one USB-A, an HDMI 2.1 and a headphone jack, it misses some conveniences found in other Asus models. The absence of an SD card reader and an extra USB-C port is definitely felt, as these additions would significantly enhance productivity. But honestly, any criticisms I have might seem a bit trivial when you look at the big picture. This laptop is truly terrific if multitasking is your biggest priority and you don't even need the highest end model to enjoy its perks. For most people, I suggest the Intel Core Ultra 5 model with 16 GB RAM and 1 TB storage, which is priced at Rs 1,79,990. However, if you don't care about dual screens, then the Apple MacBook Air 13-inch M3 with 16 GB RAM and 512 GB storage is a better deal at Rs 1,79,990. 54,900. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.